All right, what's up guys? It's another beautiful day here in Kentucky. Now I'm gonna be sharing with you guys three things that I wish I would have focused on while I was here at the Kentucky Welding Institute. Let's get into it. Now before I get into these three things, I'd like to go ahead and say, while you're here at KWI, make sure you try to get as many AWS certifications as you can. The AWS certifications will help you to get on jobs and look more appealing to companies and contractors. With that said, let's go ahead and get into the three things I wish I would have focused on here at KWI while I was here. So the first thing that I wish I would have focused on while I was here at the Kentucky Welding Institute is looking through the bevel when TIG welding pipe. What that means is when you're putting in the root on pipe, instead of crawling all the way under it to put in your root, I would look down through the bevel and weld it. So it took me about two or three years out in the industry to get good at that because it's something that I didn't practice here at KWI. Our instructors told me to practice it, but I wasn't too worried about it at the time. And when I got out into the field, I didn't know how to do it. So I had to suffer and crawl under the pipe a lot of the times to make a pipe weld. So that's something that I would focus on while you're here at KWI is practicing the skill set of looking through the bevel and making your root weld with TIG welding. That's going to help you out so much when you get out into the industry because if you can look through the bevel and make a weld, there's no weld that you can't make. Meaning, if there's a weld in a tight spot, you can put the root in looking through the bevel and then you can mirror weld whatever you can't see. So if you can look through the bevel, it can be welded with mirrors. So looking through the bevel, and also I guess we'll, we'll touch base on this, mirror welding are gonna help you to be able to make any weld possible with TIG. The second thing that I would focus on when you're here at the Kentucky Welding Institute is getting good at fixing your mistakes. That's something that I didn't do when I was here. I would weld something if I messed up, I would scrap it and get a new piece of metal. And that's not what you wanna do because when you're in the field, if you mess up, you have to fix it right then and there. It's not like they can go get a new 20 foot stick of pipe because you messed up. You have to learn how to fix your mistakes. So here at KWI, I wish I would have focused on if I made a mistake on a weld, I stopped right there, cut into it, made the repair, and then kept welding. That's gonna make you so much better out in the industry because if you can fix your mistakes or repairs, there's nothing that can stop you. Um, you know, when you're making a weld and you mess up, you can fix it and go on about your day. If you can fix your welds, there's nothing to worry about. You always know that you can make the weld. And that's a huge thing is having that confidence to make the welds. So again, the second thing, I wish I would have focused on fixing my welds and making repairs while I was here at KWI. The third thing that I wish I would have focused on while I was here at KWI is welding in simulators. Now, when I was in school here about six years ago, we didn't have as many simulators, so I wasn't able to focus on as many, but I still could have used the ones that we had at the time. But now KWI has several, several other simulators, as you can see these other ones right here. So, while you're here at KWI, you have the option to just weld in your booth. And that's okay, but that's gonna hurt you when you go out into the industry. So welding in simulators as much as you can and putting yourself in real world applications is gonna make you that much better when you transition into the industry and you won't look as green when you get sent to the pipe rack, when you get sent um, to weld boiler tubes or heater tubes or something like that. Now obviously you're gonna be green and they might know it, um, but you'll be ready for those welds um, as best as possible by welding in these simulators here at the Kentucky Welding Institute. So these are the three things that I wish I would have focused on while I was here at the Kentucky Welding Institute. Now they may seem small, but when you come to KWI and you go out in the industry, it's gonna make a lot more sense. So if you do come here, make sure you focus on those things and you'll be a lot better than I was when I went out into the industry. Hope this helps. If you wanna stay up to date with what we have going on, check out our social media and also our website for upcoming events and dates. August 30th is our next big event at the Metalworks Expo here at KWI. Companies, contractors, 
Other welders are all going to be here, and that's for Kentucky welding students. Bring your class, bring everybody. It's going to be a good time. Until next time, see you there.